resting on your back. Begin rocking your pelvis, so do a tail tuck and low back will press into the mat. Move in the opposite direction where the low back arches and you are actually sticking your tail out into the earth. Keep that going, so pelvic rock from the top of the sacrum to the bottom of the sacrum. Sacrum is the bone, the center bone of the pelvis. It's part of the spine. It's five fused vertebra of the spine and just beneath the sacrum is your tail. Just above it is your lumbar spine. A couple more pelvic rocks. To the right side of your sacrum is your right pelvic half, it's got a couple of names. It's called an anominate, or it could be called the ilium. And to the left side of the sacrum is the other pelvic half. Again, anominate, which means no name. It's the no name bone or ilium. A couple more rocks, pretty sweet just to get a pelvic rock in. All right, and then place your hands on your uh, torso. You can move your hands onto your heart and just rest your hands there. Giving thanks for this ability to move and express. Sometimes we're on familiar paths and it's delightfully fun. Sometimes the paths we're exploring are unfamiliar and they're challenging. So even when things are challenging, finding a playful quality, because it's often in the play that we have discovery. Release your hands. If you closed your eyes, open them up. Draw your right knee into your chest. Release left knee to chest, good hugs. Do that one more time, single knee to chest, alternating legs. Breathe with it. Which just means at this point, don't hold your breath. All right. Stretch both legs out. In breath, raise your arms over your head as you press down through your heels, spread your toes, flex at your ankles and move your inner thighs to the mat. Big reach now from pelvis to heels and then stretch long from the waist area of you on the sides, side waist up through armpits, out through fingertips. Breathe, just big reach. All right, exhale your arms down. Walk both knee, uh, both legs to the right. Knees would go with the legs, right? <laughs> Squeeze your legs together. Raise your arms up and over your head. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Let's all tip over to the right. So we've got a nice lateral bend and supine on our backs. In breath, back to center. Exhale your arms down. Walk your feet to center. Legs just right underneath the pelvis. Breathe. All right, second side, both legs over to the left. Press down through your heels, flex at the ankles and spread your toes. Move your inner thighs to the mat. Keeping the legs long, stretch your arms up and over your head and then hold on to your right wrist with your left hand. Tip your torso to the left. Legs and torso going left, breathe. In breath, arms down by your side, keep breathing, torso back in alignment, walk your legs back, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, knees the width of your sitting bones, arms out to a T, take both knees to the left, inhale to center, both knees to the right. Let's just keep that going. So feet are just the width of the sitting bones, they're not out wide, they're not touching. 
is knee dropping right, left. Pelvis is following what the feet are doing. So feet turn to the right, knees turn to the right, pelvis turns to the right. One more time on each side. Return to center, rest your arms down by your side. Root into your heels, just double check that they're still the width of your sitting bones. And as you press into your feet, press into your arms, lift your pelvis up, bridge. Lower the pelvis back down. Two more times, push with your feet, press with your arms. Light pressure with the base of the skull, but not the neck, right? Pelvis and spine down. And one more time. Use your feet, push. The push of the feet helps activate the legs. And then on the next exhale, lower down. Standing on your left foot, cross your right leg over into figure four. Draw your left knee into your chest. Wrap your hands around your left thigh. Stretch your left leg out. One more breath here in figure four. Bend your left knee, left foot on the ground, uncross the right. Second side, figure four. Right knee to chest, hands wrap around the right thigh bone. Stretch your right leg out. Breathe. Bend your right knee, right foot on the ground, uncross the left. Reach for your yoga strap. Place your yoga strap around the bottom of your right foot. Stretch your right leg up to the sky so you have a hamstring stretch on the right leg. Stretch your left leg out long so you've got a big scissor pattern with both legs. Press down through your left heel. Open up the space between each toe. And move the left inner thigh to the mat. With the left inner thigh rooting to the mat, anchor the right outer hip to the mat. Move both straps into your right hand. Work your right hand up towards your right toe and open your right leg to the right. Left arm can open out to a T with the palm open. Continue to anchor the left heel, the left back of the leg whole way up from calf through knee pit to hamstring, as well as anchor the left outer hip. And now bring your right leg back to center, switch hands on the strap, open your right arm out to a T, palm open, breathe. In breath to center, bend your right knee, stretch your right leg out. Draw your left knee in, wrap your strap around your left foot. Hamstring stretch, left leg. Right leg extended across the earth. Open up your toes, get some more space in between them. Flex strongly at the right ankle to align the right knee, the right toes, so they're pointing to the sky. Often it's bring the left, I'm sorry, the right inner thigh to the mat. Breathe. Anchor the left outer edge of the pelvis down, down to the earth. Use your hands, crawl up the strap, open your right arm out, to the side plane with the right palm open and left leg goes out to the left. Using your left hand to guide your left leg back to center, switch hands on the strap, left leg crossing the midline, right hand holding the straps, left arm out to a T, breathe.
Right. Inhale to center, bend your left knee, strap off, right knee bends, both knees bent, feet on the floor. Draw both knees into your chest. Just move your yoga strap out of the way. We're going to roll up to sitting or roll to your side to come up. <coughs> so coming up to sitting, come into all fours position, hands and knees. In hands and knees, check it out. Hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath pelvis. Just from the pelvis here, let's rock. Just from the pelvis, so tail drawing in, butt sticking out. A couple more. All right, work your hand print, I mean your hands, one hand print away. Tuck your toes, push with your feet and your hands. Lift your pelvis up and back into downward facing dog and breathe. Bend your knees, lift your sitting bones high to the sky and let's pelvic rock here. So you've tipped your sitting bones up, it's like you're sticking your butt out and now you're just rocking your pelvis. A couple more. All right, keep the version where you're sticking your butt out a little bit, but draw your tail down so your belly tones. Push more with your hands, so from the bottom of your heart, through your chest, through your arms, stretch it out. And from the bottom of your heart through your pelvis, reach to the earth. And that means press your thigh bones back so you can stretch your legs long. And your heels might start to come down towards the ground. Breathe. Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Land at the top of your mat. <clears throat> With your knees bent, fold forward into Uttanasana. Let your head release. As you press down through your feet, in breath, look up, get long. Exhale, fold. One more time. Push with your hands and your feet. Lengthen your spine. And then as you exhale to fold into your legs, your spinal flex. All right, hands to the pelvis, elbows up to the sky, spine long, push down, pelvis to feet to stand up. Release your arms, stretch up big. Exhale, bring your arms behind you into the back plane and clasp your hands. So opening the front of the chest, bend your knees, draw your tail down, lift up through your heart. A Couple more breaths here, just front of the chest opener. Release the clasp of your hands, stretch your arms up big, open your arms out into the side plane, bring your right arm to the midline, left arm underneath so you have eagle arms. Breathe, keep reaching from the back of you and between your shoulder blades out towards your elbow tips. Keep that expansion. On an in-breath, open your arms out wide, exhale them down, stretch up again. Arms out into the side plane, left arm to the midline first, right arm underneath, eagle arms. Expand from the back in between your shoulder blades, each one expanding away from the spine. And then that expansion wraps around to the front of you and out through your elbow tips. Open your arms out wide, exhale them down. Stretch up big <clears throat> on an exhale chair pose. Fold forward on your next exhale to Uttanasana. Step back with your right foot for a lunge. Plant your right hand flat on the mat. Bring your left hand to your left hip crease. As you push down with your feet and pull both feet towards one another, spin your right inner thigh to the sky. Scoop your left buttock in and under. Turn your right ribs to the left, left arm up to the sky. Left arm down, right foot steps forward. Standing forward fold. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your pelvis. Long spine, root into the feet to rise, release your arms. Stretch up, chair pose on an exhale. Fold forward to Uttanasana, keep breathing. 
left leg back lunge, left hand flat on the mat, right hand to right hip crease, root the outer right hip down. So left inner thigh lifting to the sky, right hand at the right hip crease, guiding the right buttock inward and downward. Push with your left hand, spin your left ribs to the right, so you've added a twist, right arm up to the sky. Right hand down, push with your right foot, swing your left foot forward, hands to the pelvis, long spine, stand tall. Release your arms, stretch up, chair pose, fold forward Uttanasana, step back to plank. Breathe, push with your hands and feet. Keep breathing, keep holding plank. It's not fun here, is it? <laughs> Keep breathing. I know, sometimes it's challenging. All right, knees to the mat. Come all the way down onto your belly, tops of the feet down. Line your wrists up with your elbows, squeeze your legs together and press the tops of your feet down. Breathe. Reach back from your pelvis to your feet, get it strong and long, and then move your heart forward and up into Bhujangasana. Two more breaths. In breath, heart moves forward, exhale, return to the earth, push up into all fours. In hands and knees, walk your hands back under your shoulders, check out the knees that they're beneath your pelvis, take your right arm out into the side plane like a T-shape, thread your right arm through, shoulder stretch, left elbow up to the sky. Move on to ridge tops with the left hand. And then draw the left side of your pelvis back behind you. Lengthen your left armpit forward towards the crown of your head. Breathe. Press down with the whole back of your right arm. Turn your right ribs to the left and breathe. Push with your left hand, untwist, <clears throat> back to fours, hands beneath shoulders, left arm out into the side plane. So you're just practicing, like balancing on one hand here, right? Left arm out in the side. All right, and then thread your left arm through, threading the needle, right elbow up, use ridge tops on the right hand. Right pelvis back, to help lengthen the right side waist. To get the full length, you've got to use the other end point. And that end point is the right armpit. So you're opening the right armpit up and expanding it without hunching the top of the shoulder. Breathe. Press down through your left arm, the back of it. So the back of the hand, the forearm, the upper arm, press down and even reach through it. So from left armpit to left middle finger, there's a reach. And as you stay with your breath, turn your left belly, left ribs to the right. Push with your right hand and twist back to fours. Step your right leg back behind you, toes tucked under. Raise your right leg up in the air. Extend your left arm forward. Move your left arm to the left, your right leg to the right. So you've just got your left arm and right leg on a diagonal line from the torso now. Left arm back into alignment, right leg back into alignment under the pelvis. Keeping your left arm in the air, take your right leg, cross the midline back behind you. Right leg crosses the midline and then put your right big toe ball joint on the ground. All right. Left arm out to a T into the side plane. You got this, guys. So right leg is to the left, crossing the midline. Left arm is out to the left in the letter T shape. Right hand is still pushing. It's holding you steady. Left arm threads the needle. Holy cow. Go to ridge tops on the right hand. 
gives you a great opportunity to strongly draw the right side waist back. Keep pushing through the right foot. Find the end point in the right armpit and extend out through the right elbow tip. All right, push with your right hand. Untwist back to fours, uncross your right leg. Breathe. Second side, left leg steps back, toes tucked under. Using the left inner thigh, lift your left leg up, extend your right arm forward. Just breathe here, very, very easy pattern. And then it's gonna get playful and challenging next, right? Right arm to the right, left arm to the left, breathe. So you got that diagonal line going on from right hand through the torso to left buttock to left heel. Keeping the right hand Move it back to in alignment with the right shoulder. Now left leg crosses the midline. Goes all the way across the midline and touches the earth as it's crossed over the, I'm sorry, left leg. I don't know what I just said, but left leg crosses the midline until it's over on the right side. All right, now take your right arm out to a T. So left arm still pushing. Don't collapse down on the left side. Push the earth so you stay lifted. Right arm's in the side plane, left leg is across the midline. Okay, here comes the crazy part. Right arm, thread the needle through. Yeah, you're gonna come down onto the right side of your skull. Go to ridge tops on your left hand. How do you get more length through the left side? Left pelvis reaches to left heel, push with your left foot, and then extend from your left side waist to your left armpit. Breathe. All right, press with your left hand. Untwist, right hand on the mat, left leg uncrosses, you're back to all fours position, hands and knees. Work your hands a handprint forward, tuck your toes, push hands and feet, take your pelvis backwards and upwards to downward facing dog. From the bottom of your heart, to your hands, push. Man, when you get that, you just like slinky out of the torso. The torso just lengthens. The lats get more length. And then from bottom of the heart through the pelvis to the heels, reach. Breathe. All right, stand on your left foot. Maybe you need to work it a little bit more to the midline. Raise your right leg up in the air. Got a three-legged dog. Right leg returns to the earth. Stand on your right foot. Reach and lift from left pelvis to left arch of the foot to lengthen and lift the left leg up in the air. Three-legged dog. All right, you gotta keep that reach from bottom of the heart into the hands. On an exhale, return your left foot to the earth. Walk your feet forward all the way to the top of your mat. Just keep walking until you get there. Once you've landed, exhale, fold into your legs. Breathe, breathe here in Uttanasana. Let your head drip. Bend your elbows, let your elbows stick out into the side plane. The shoulders are gonna be going down to the earth. Let them, let them drip. Two more breaths. Legs steady. Hands to pelvis, heart forward, in breath, stand up. All right, step your right foot back, big wide stance. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot open, stretch your arms up and out. Come into a knee bend on your front leg, so you've moved into warrior two. Even turn your gaze and look over your left hand. On an exhale, left arm to left thigh, push down so that you help move the left uh, thigh bone back to the hamstring. As you spread your toes out, spin your right inner thigh back behind you, compact your left buttock underneath you. Top arm makes a mini arm circle and extend it over your head. Bigger reach now. Begin from pelvis to foot with that reach and then expand the reach from pelvis up through trunk, out through fingertips. 
Bottom arm extends down the inner line of the leg. Keep using the arm to push against the leg as you scoop the left buttock under. Lengthen your front leg, just change it to Trikonasana. Top arm goes back up to the sky. Big moment here, right hand to pelvis. Bend your left knee. Use your left hand, work it off the diagonal of your baby toe. About a foot and a half, two feet. Right foot is hopping in. And then through a reach, lift and extend your right leg up in the air. Option is right arm up. So you've got Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe. From Ardha Chandrasana, we're going to turn the pelvis to the earth, both hands down, so you're in a standing split, both hands down, head goes down, leg goes high. The more your head goes down and you try to like kiss your own knee, like you're trying to get to your left knee with your head and your heart, your right leg can reach up and go up in the air even more. See about working your hands closer to your left foot, so they come in closer. You start to get funky balance at that point. All right, soften your left knee, right foot lands on the ground in a standing forward fold. Space your feet about the width of your sitting bones, bend your knees, let your ribs rest on your thigh bones. So bend your knees enough that you've got ribs resting on thigh bones. Breathe. All right, firm legs, hands to pelvis, spine long. Press down with your feet, stand up. All right. We got to get around to the other side. So take a big breath up. Exhale, have a seat, chair pose, fold forward to Uttanasana. Step back to plank. Breathe. We're going to stay here and be challenged in our plank. <laughs> So just start laughing. Start thinking about that 12,000 piece puzzle. The challenge of a 12,000 piece puzzle that comes with a magnifying glass and tweezers. And it's just a puzzle of a blue sky and a little moon. You would never do that puzzle. <laughs> Challenging, probably not fun. Breathe, we're here in plank. It's challenging. You gotta talk yourself into it. All right, knees to the mat, lower down onto your belly. Squeeze your legs towards one another. Bring your hands back so that elbows and wrists align. Lifting your shoulders to the height of your elbows, squeeze your arms in towards your body as your fingers claw the mat. Press down and reach back through your legs as you pull your heart forward and up into Bhujangasana. In breath, lower back down. Push up into all fours. Work your hands a handprint forward, tuck your toes, push up and back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the top of your mat, all the way up into a standing forward fold. Once you're at the top of your mat, root your feet and spread out your toes. Bend your knees and rest your ribs on your thigh bones. So you've got this, you know, what that's creating is some flexion in the spine. Let your head drip down, breathe. Legs firm and strong, hands to pelvis, elbows to sky. Reach back through tail, move forward through your own heart, rise. Release your arms down. All right, let's take out a wide stance. Step out big. Waiting for my focus to come back. There I came back. 
<laughs> Autofocus on this is funny sometimes. All right, so heading the other way, turn your left foot in, that'll be your back foot. Turn your right foot all the way open. Stretch your arms up big as you pull your feet towards one another. Arms out to a T. Come into a knee bend on your front leg. So you've got your warrior two shape. There you go. Turn your gaze, look over your right hand. All right, let's get busy in the legs. So left inner thigh moves back and apart. They'll feel like a rotation. And then right buttock scoops under. Yeah. Right arm to right thigh, left arm to the sky and breathe. Left arm, little arm circle over the head. Get a bigger stretch now. This is where you get to just kind of play while you're staying still, holding the balance. Yeah, so that stretch is back leg, outer hip to outer heel, big reach. And then you take the reach from pelvis up through torso. Right arm, extend it down the inner line of your right leg. Use your right arm to push against the inner line of your right leg which gives the ability to scoop your right buttock under even more. All right, lengthen your right leg. Move into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe. Left hand to pelvis, bend your right knee, hop in your left foot and move your right hand off the diagonal of your right baby toe. Reach out from your left pelvis to your left heel as you spread all your toes out to come into Ardha Chandrasana. Once you've got the reach through the legs, add the reach through the torso. So it's from pelvis to heart, right? Moving through the side waist to get longer and even out through the crown of your head. Left arm could go to the sky. Breathe. On an exhale, left hand's going down. So you're turning towards the earth with your heart and your pelvis. Left leg stays in the air, standing still only on your right foot. Now, the more you let yourself forward fold into your right leg, that's that whole like bring the ribs to the right thigh. Yeah, that's what that all, all was about. The more you can let your head go down and your ribs come towards your right thigh and like you're trying to kiss your right leg, you can take your left leg higher up into the sky. So go for it. And you gotta pick the leg up. You, you know, it's not just gonna go up on its own. You gotta pick it up. Breathe. So that's the challenging part. Next breath. Left foot lands next to right. Stay forward, fold, bend your knees. Let your ribs rest on your thighs, head drips. So we're at the other end of our mat, right? Bring your hands to your pelvis. Heart forward, in breath and rise up. Release your arms down. Stretch up big. Exhale, chair pose. Fold forward to Uttanasana. Step back to downward facing dog. Step back. All right, bend your knees, tip your sitting bones. Pressing your feet towards one another inner thighs away. Feet press in, shins press in, inner thighs move apart. And then stretch it out from bottom of the heart to the hands. Stretch it out from bottom of the heart through the pelvis, through the legs. So that means press the thigh bones back towards the hamstrings. To lengthen your legs, maybe your heels are going to start going down towards the ground as you lengthen your legs out. Come on, each finger pad. You got to commit with those hands to get the the maximum length out of this. All right, press with your left foot. Maybe you gotta move it in a little bit, but push with your left foot, raise your right leg up in the air. Bend your right knee so you've added your quad stretch. Turn your left ribs to the right and look underneath your right armpit. Stretch your right leg back up to the sky. Turn your pelvis to the earth. Listen, right knee to left elbow. So you gotta flex your spine, 
right knee to left elbow. Get it up there. Come on, get it up there. It's got a little plank in it. Right, push back to right leg up in the air to three-legged dog. All right, right foot on the ground. Breathe. You ready for your second side? All right, push with the right foot. Don't go anywhere yet. Get the length from bottom of the heart to the hands. Get that back. Get the length back from bottom of the heart through the pelvis to the heels. Push the thigh bones back. Reach from sitting bones to the heels to the earth. All right, when you're ready, stand on the right, left leg up in the air, three-legged dog. Breathe. Come on, bottom of the heart to the hands, push more. Turn your pelvis open, bend your left knee. So you've got your quad stretch in your dog. Turn your right ribs, right belly to the left, peek underneath your left armpit. Turn your ribs and your belly back to the earth and your pelvis back to the earth. Keep the left knee bent. Left knee is going to right elbow. Come on, it's like I have a plank move in it. Get it up there. Knee to elbow. Breathe. Back to down dog. Woohoo, a little bit of challenging fun. Trying to get a knee to an arm and rotation. Takes some strength, takes a little bit of will. All right, knees to the mat. <laughs> Come up to kneeling. So grab your blanket if kneeling is not your favorite thing. We're still facing the back, what we would consider the back of our mat at this point. Come into kneeling like it could be down. Gate pose. So you're going to stay kneeling on your right leg. Step your left leg out into the side plane. Stretch your arms up, left arm down the left leg, right arm up and over the head. Just a sweet lateral bend. We're going to change this into a side plank in a second. All right, right hand down on the mat. Right fingers point in the direction of the skull of your head. So that would be off to the right side of the mat. Raise your left leg up in the air. So this is just a modified side plank, left arm up to the sky. All right, let's add on to that. We're gonna do a cross the midline version. So bring your left hand back to your pelvis. Take your left leg, step it forward of your blanket towards the back edge of your mat. In a lunge. Left leg's in a lunge, just in front of your pelvis. Left hands are pointing to the back top of your mat. All right, step your right leg. You're crossing the midline. Right leg steps out into a side plank. Left arm up to the sky. Come on, push with your feet, push with your right hand. Okay, it's gonna get crazy because I know you're off the mat. It's like you've gone off grid in this moment. Left hand down to the mat, turning into a plank, step into plank. So you are totally, what, what would that be called? You're making the X of your mat. You're not on your mat anymore, you've left. <laughs> you've left your mat. Oh, I've left my mat. You're still in plank. You're making an X shape, you and your mat. Come on, just hold this plank and breathe. All right, knees down on your blanket. Work your hands to the top of your mat. Feet are going to the bottom of your mat. So your all fours position is with hands at the top of the mat, knees at the bottom of the mat. So we've righted ourselves. Come up to tall kneeling on your blanket. All right, we made it. So right leg's going out into gate pose. Oh, stretch your arms up big, it's right leg out. Right arm down the right leg, left arm over. So you've got this lateral bend. Keep uh, reaching down from left pelvis to left knee. Press the left side of your pelvis forward. Extend from left pelvis through left ribs. And then reach down with your right hand past your right knee if you can. All right, we're going the other way. So we're coming into that modified side plank. Left hand to the floor. Let's put the top hand on our pelvis first and just organize. So left fingertips point in the direction of your skull, which is off the left side of your mat. Right leg up in the air. And there's your modified side plank. Right arm up in the air. Breathe. All right, little fun, little challenge, right? 
So we're gonna bring the right hand back to the pelvis. Right leg comes forward, it's gonna cross the midline and you're coming into a lunge shape on your right foot. Right foot is now pointing towards the top of your yoga mat. Right knee is bent. Push down and stand on your right foot. Push with your left hand so that you can slide your left leg out underneath the pelvis. You'll be on the pinky toe edge. So you're like in a side plank. Yeah, top arm up. Breathe. Yeehaw. Come on, push with your feet more. Push with your hand more so your bottom pelvis, your left pelvis, is not sagging down. It's lifting up. And is it going to be challenging? Of course it is. Yeah. All right, right hand down. You're rolling to a plank. Ready? You're, you're going to be an X with your mat. Right leg steps back. Hands are off the mat. Feet are off the mat. You're, you're freewheeling. You have left the path and have gone, I don't know, what is this? This would be bisecting the path, perpendicular to the path. <laughs> you're still in plank. Push more with your hands. Push more with your feet. I know you're probably shaking. It's okay, I'm shaking too. Breathe, breathe. All right, knees down. Back to fours, and we're gonna right ourselves to the top of the mat. So pivot around, come onto your knees, be on all fours with your head facing the top of your mat. Work your hands a handprint forward, tuck your toes under, up and back into downward facing dog. Very, very good, you guys. One more breath here, so fully express this dog out. Reach from heart to hands, reach from heart through pelvis to heels. Bigger stretch. All right, on an exhale. Ah, knees down. Move your blanket out. Have a seat on your mat. Hold on to your hamstrings and ease yourself down. Once you're down on your back, draw your right knee into your chest, hold on to your right knee, and use your right hand resting right on your kneecap to make a circle with your right knee, just circling. Reverse the direction, circle, circle. All right, right foot on the ground. Left knee up into the chest. Bring it all the way up without using your hands. Just how far will it go? And then just place the left hand on your left knee and let's make a circle. It's not a big one. Your hand is actually stirring your leg. Sometimes it's hard to let that happen. And your, your leg is doing the stirring. Uh, see if you can change the dynamic. So sometimes that means there's a letting go moment, <laughs> like a letting go of the leg being in charge and let the hand be in charge. All right. If you've gone in both directions, you've done well, left foot down. All right, this time, right knee to tabletop. So now knee's not up near the chest. It's like knee is above pelvis, above the hip joint. Bring your right hand to your right knee. Stir the knee here. And again, this is not a big stir. It's, uh, I don't know, think of it as if you have like a spaghetti sauce in the pot. If you made a big stir, you might splash out, reverse the direction. And, and none of us like to really clean up <laughs> like around the stove, you know, things splashing out. So it's a very small, steady stir that your hand is guiding, not your leg, your hand. All right, and then finish, right foot down. Let's bring the left leg up to tabletop. Try to mark it well. We've got a different angle here. Left hand onto left knee. Begin your stir. If your leg is trying to be the one in charge, take a good old exhale. Say, come on, leg. Let the hand do it. Let's let something else take you on this journey. You're not always in charge. Reverse the direction of your stir. It's a tiny stir. Try to see your femur like a, like a long handle of a spoon and your pelvis is the bowl, right? So you're stirring in the bowl of the pelvis. All right, and that's actually in the acetabulum, right? 
Right, left foot down, breathe. Rest your arms down, draw your right knee up towards your chest, bring it all the way up, but no hands touching it. Stretch your right leg up to the sky and now bring your leg above your pelvis. So you've moved your leg away. It's right above your pelvis. Keep flexion at the right ankle, open up the space between your toes and begin a very small circle. If I was up above you, like if I was standing there with you right now, I would put weight right into your heel. I would press down onto your heel and then lead the stir from up there. So can you picture that? Can you feel that weight descending? As if someone's putting a little bit of pressure on your heel. So the weight moves down through the bones into the pelvis, like into the pot that you're stirring. If you haven't reversed the direction of your circle, please do. Small circle, so we don't want to splash anything out of the pot. Very small, slow circle. All right, bend your right knee. Let's stretch the right leg out. Well, those circles are usually pretty sweet. All right, bend your right knee. Right foot on the ground, left knee to chest. Bring it all the way up without your hands touching it. Just get that knee hiked up to your chest. Keeping the knee towards your chest, extend your leg. So it's a sweet hamstring stretch with no hands. Changing the angle at the hip joint, we're gonna bring the left ankle above the left pelvis. So now knee is dropping right above the hip joint. Right, ankle, knee, hip in alignment right above the joint. Flex at your left ankle, spread your toes. And if you can imagine, you know, me or somebody else is right above your left foot, we're slightly pushing down on the left foot. So right, the, the leg is the handle, keep stirring. The hip socket is the pot. Slow, steady circle. All right, reverse if you haven't. So get, get it going the other way. And then you're, you're trying to keep that circle smooth. Sometimes it gets a little squarish, right? It'll have rough edges. Breathe. It'll all smooth out. All right, bend your left knee, put your left foot on the ground. Stretch your left leg out. All right, bend your left knee. Both knees are bent. Take the soles of your feet and touch them together so your knees open out wide. So this is, this is a butterfly shape, right? Bound angle pose and supine, supta, baddha konasana. Arms are just resting down by your side. So we're gonna take a really slow, super duper duper slow close of the knees towards one another. We're gonna take at least two minutes to do this. Um, so the goal is, you know, not to get the legs closed quickly, but to go slowly. So quick, uh, slowly, right? Having fun in a challenge of how slow can you go to get there rather than how fast. The legs at the same rate are lifting first towards the ceiling, right? As if you're going to close them. But we're taking the, the slow journey where we get to see some fun things, experience a little bit more because we because we're lingering, right? We're not rushing, we're lingering. What might start happening if it hasn't already started is the legs will start quivering. I think all of you guys have done this with me. <laughs> the legs will start beating without you doing it. And so if you're trying to do that, stop that. It'll just happen. So keep trying to close the legs really slow, but that little shake will come in and, and that's what we're after. You know, it'll, it'll just happen. It'll happen at a different rate for each of us. Uh, how much it quivers is a little different too. Just enjoy it and marvel at it. But you're still continuing on the path of closing the legs. I mean, if my legs haven't really closed all that much, you know, it's a super slow journey back to center. As the knees do start coming up, right? As the knees start rising towards the ceiling, they're, they're, you'll feel the moments when you've got to adjust the feet. The feet will slowly start have to turn 
to the earth so that you can stand on it. But don't rush to that. You'll know, you'll, because it'll, you'll feel like, oh, I got to move the feet. So wait to know that. <sighs> Breathe. This is a trauma release technique. <laughs> And the age we're at, we've all had a little bit of trauma, right? Whether it's grief, whether it's frustration, anger, sadness, whether it's mental trauma, emotional trauma, physical trauma, right? I think we probably had them all at this point. And this kind of shake. You know, there's a, a group of folks out there that research this stuff and they feel this, these shakes are part of releasing stuff that's held in the body. So don't be in a hurry. Just, you know, keep closing. Adjusting your feet, because eventually your feet have to start landing, right? You, eventually you'll get the soles of your feet to touch. Now the last little, I mean, touch the earth, excuse me. They'll stop touching each other and start turning to touch the earth until they're completely standing. Don't rush the last little bit. There's, you know, as you start getting um, to feet flat on the ground, knees are starting to really look like they're towards the ceiling. You could like rush just to close the legs. Well, don't. Take your time. We're here. Take some exhales. Let your shoulders relax. Just keep breathing. Remember, your, your only goal is to eventually close the legs. How long it takes, you know, we're taking our good long time so we can have this experience. Now, as the legs get really close together, you know, where they're, they're like inches apart or even, you know, really close, like a quarter of an inch, like where you're in that phase, don't rush it. <laughs> Go even slower. Do not rush this. If you rush it, you miss it, you know? You miss whatever there is. It's an opportunity. The opportunities sometimes are challenging. The opportunities sometimes are fun. When the two combine, when you have challenging fun, that's a sweet spot. How you doing? Are you really close? Your legs really close, but still shaking? <laughs> like trying to come together, but quivering like crazy. All right, so maybe in like the next 20 seconds, we can get our legs, all, all of us, you know, can join together and get the legs together. No rush. All right, once they're together, <laughs> it's like they're still trying to jump apart, but <laughs> hold them together now. Just hold them and breathe. Relax your arms. Just breathe. Holy cow, yeah. All right, stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms over your head. Exhale your arms down. Let's bring the knees to the chest. Use your hands, hold your legs. All right, so now you got a free moment. You can take any shape you need to take before we go into Shavasana. So do you need, do you need a big stretch? Do you need a twist? Do you, do you just, are you, are you just like, no, I'm ready to go to Shavasana? heading directly there. All right, so your choice. After you've taken the shapes or shape or no shape, stretch your legs out, stretch your arms down by your side, turn your palms open. Close your eyes. And just rest in this experience of you. 